In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take your Flux Cumulus node and convert it into a Flux Thunder Storage node. I currently have one Flux Cumulus node running, and they recently launched the Thunder process onto the mainnet. So today I'm going to show you how you can take your existing Cumulus node and turn that into a Flux Fractus node, which was formerly called Thunder. So what I've already done is I've taken uh, my Flux node, which I was running on a uh, VM inside HiveOS, and I've actually already moved it to one of my storage servers. I was running storage on this particular server, this has a whole lot of hard drives in it. Uh, this actually has, I believe, 12 hard drives in it. One for the OS, 11 just extra drives I had laying around. And here you can see some of them are smaller capacities. Um, like, oh, one terabyte, 500 gig, four terabyte, three terabyte, another 500 gig, two terabyte, one and a half terabyte, uh, two terabyte, two terabyte, and another one terabyte. So all together, those are around 14 terabytes. You only need 10 to run a Flux Thunder node. We're just going to grab the IP, and I'm going to use PuTTY to SSH into the server. And I'm going to log in with my Flux node account, not my HiveOS account. So for me, that is Flux underscore node password okay and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna validate the benchmarks that we have so we're gonna do flux bench hyphen CLI and we're gonna do get benchmarks and this is gonna show us our existing benchmarks and here you can see thunder is false meaning it's currently not benched as a thunder node uh, I am currently benched as a cumulus node and here we can see our SSD is 500 gigs and our HDDD, which is our slower spinning hard disks that basically don't meet the SSD speed thresholds, we've got 14.4 terabytes here. So based on this, and if we check our upload and download speed, our download speed is 314 megabits per second, and our upload speed is 302 megabits per second. So this means that we meet the threshold of 100 down, 100 up. So let's go ahead and show you how to actually convert this to a thunder node it's extremely simple all you need to do is run the multi toolbox they have recently updated this so the same command you use to install hive os or install flux node go ahead and hit enter and this menu should look familiar to you and we're going to do a flux os reconfiguration so we're going to do 11 and here you can see we now have an option called Enable Disable Thunder Mode. We're going to go down to that. We're going to hit Enter. And this is going to create the necessary configurations for the system to detect that it's a Thunder Node. It's going to restart the Flux services, including the benchmarking service. And now if we run our benchmarks, here you'll get this error. You will need to wait a few minutes until the service comes fully back up online. So we'll just, oops, we'll just run this command a couple times until we see it come back up. And what should happen is it should start re-benchmarking itself. And there you can see it came back up. Our benchmarks are running. And this will take uh, quite some time, but if you notice here, it now says Thunder True. So what we're looking for, our end state, is that we want our status to still say Cumulus. But as long as Thunder is true, they will, once they start rolling out the storage, we will start to begin getting storage. Uh, they haven't determined yet what the incentive will be. But uh, essentially that's all that's needed for this. So we're going to let this benchmark. And I'll see you back when it is done and we can verify it. Benchmark is now complete. And if we scroll up here and run this, we can see our status is Cumulus. 
we can see we've got our SSD, we've got 14.4 terabytes of hard drives. And if we scroll down some here, you can see the write speed for each of our drives. All right, and then all the way at the bottom, we can see Thunder is true. And so we've met all of the benchmarks. So technically we should be up and running. Next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm going to jump on over to my dashboard and let's take a look and make sure all the benchmarks are reflecting over there. <clears throat> all right, and if we get a benchmark, do get status. Here we can say we're online as a cumulus. If we go to flux node, get benchmarks. Here we can see we've got are 14.4 terabytes and everything looks good so we are a cumulus and uh, everything should be good so we should be running as a storage node on the network so we'll continue to get our cumulus awards rewards but then we will also once they initialize the incentives for the project thunder which is the practice the cumulus practice nodes will also be getting those. That's all there is to getting the Thunder node up and running on your existing cumulus node. So if you have the hard drive storage available, I uh, definitely recommend going ahead and doing this as early as possible. Um, once they launch it, you know, if you're if you're early on, you'll probably be getting a lot of the rewards until more data gets onboarded. Uh, generally, the way these storage nodes work is once people start to see what the rewards are then they will start to onboard their devices so if you're early on it's definitely advantageous to you it's also advantageous to the network because it gives them more storage that they're able to provide to their clients